Hi guys, Jeremy here, and today I'm gonna to compare Monday.com and Microsoft Project. Both of these platforms help you manage your projects, but they do it in a very different way and are designed for different kinds of teams. In this video, I'll cover their features, pricing, user interface, support, and much more so that you can decide which tool fits your needs the best. So. Let's get started. All right, let's start with Monday.com. It's a super flexible tool that helps teams plan, track, and manage their work all in one place. It works for pretty much any type of team, whether you're in marketing, software development, or even construction. What makes Monday.com stand out is how customizable it is. You can set up boards, timelines, and dashboards to fit exactly how your team works. Plus, it gives you different ways to view your projects like calendars, Gantt charts, Kanban boards, and timelines. So it's easy to stay on top of everything. With real-time updates and collaboration features, everyone stays in the loop and on the same page. And honestly, the design is colorful and user-friendly, which makes managing projects a lot more fun and productive. On the other hand, Microsoft Project is a powerful tool built mostly for professional project managers and bigger companies. It's been around for years and is well known for its strong scheduling, resource management, and planning features. It comes with tools like Gantt charts, critical path analysis, and detailed reports, which help break big projects into smaller tasks and track progress step-by-step. -step. Now, this tool is great for managing complex schedules, juggling resources across several projects, and keeping an eye on every little detail. However, because it is so advanced, it can be a little tricky to learn at first. That's why it's better suited for experienced project managers or larger businesses. On the bright side, it works really well with other Microsoft Office tools, which is a big bonus for companies already using the Microsoft ecosystem. Now, let's compare how both of these platforms look and feel when you use them. So, Monday.com has a bright, colorful, and modern look that's super easy and fun to use. The dashboard is very visual with customizable boards that show all of your tasks, deadlines, and progress at a glance. Now you can drag and drop tasks, change timelines, and update statuses with just a few clicks. It's just that simple. The layout is clean and easy to understand, even if you're new to this kind of tool. On the other hand, Microsoft Project has a more traditional business-like design. It's all about functionality and showing detailed data. You'll see Gantt charts, tables, and resource graphs that give you a lot of information in one place. Now, this setup is great if you need to see detailed schedules, task dependencies, or resource planning, but it can feel a bit overwhelming if you're not used to complex tools. Unlike Monday.com, Microsoft Project focuses less on flashy visuals and more on providing precise details and thorough analytics. Next, let's compare the core features of both platforms. So Monday.com is all about being flexible and making teamwork easier. One of the best things about it is how you can customize workflows to fit exactly what you need. It even comes with a bunch of ready-to-use templates so that you can get started fast, whether you need a simple to-do list or a detailed project timeline. What really stands out is its automation feature. You can set up rules to do things like update task statuses, send notifications, or move tasks automatically. Now, this saves you time, cuts down on mistakes, and it keeps everything running smoothly. Plus, Monday.com makes it super easy for teams to collaborate. You can update tasks in real time, leave comments, or share files all in one place. It also works with the apps that you already use, like Slack, Zoom, and Google Drive, so your workflow stays connected. The only downside is that there are so many features and options that it can feel a little overwhelming at first. But after a bit of time learning how to set it up for your team, it's totally worth it. On the other hand, Microsoft Project is all about detailed scheduling, managing resources, and creating thorough reports. Its biggest strength is handling complex projects that need a lot of planning. With Microsoft Project, you can make detailed Gantt charts to map out tasks, set milestones, and figure out the critical path of your project. You can also assign tasks 
keep track of who's available and manage your budget easily with its resource management feature. Plus, the advanced reporting tools give you clear insights into how your project is doing, helping you spot potential issues and make smarter decisions. Now, Microsoft Project does let you customize a lot, but it's designed for experienced project managers who want full control over every detail. Because of that, it takes more time to learn and it might be too much for smaller or simpler teams. So to sum it up, if you're looking for a visual, easy to use tool that's great for collaboration, then monday.com is a solid choice. But if your priority is detailed planning, scheduling, and managing resources, Microsoft Project has the powerful features that you need. Hey, quick interruption here. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link in the description of this video and check it out. All right, back to the video. Pricing is an important part of choosing the right project management tool. So let's take a look at how Monday.com and Microsoft Project compare in this area. Monday.com has pricing plans for teams of all sizes. It starts with a free plan, which is great for individuals or really small teams, as it gives you up to two seats and some basic features. If you need just a little bit more, the paid plans start with a basic plan at $9 per seat per month when billed annually. Then there there's the standard plan at $12 per seat per month and the pro plan at $19 per seat per month. There's also an enterprise plan, but you'll need to contact them for a custom price. As you move up the plans, you get more advanced features like higher automation limits, more ways to combine boards, and better tools for working together. Now, Microsoft Project gives you two ways to get started a monthly subscription or a one-time purchase. If you choose the subscription, there are different plans to fit your needs. For example, Planner Plan 1 costs $10 per user per month, while the more advanced Planner and Project Plan 3 is $30 per user per month. Then there's the Planner and Project Plan 5, which costs $55 per user per month. All plans are billed annually and renew automatically. Now, each plan adds more tools and features, making it easier to handle bigger, more complex projects. But if you already have certain Microsoft 365 plans, you get access to Planner for free, a basic project management tool that works great with the Microsoft ecosystem. If you'd rather make a one-time investment, Microsoft Project offers on-premises additions that you can buy outright. Project Standard 2024 costs $679.99, while the more advanced Project Professional 2024 is $1,129 and 99 cents. Now, these are great for teams that need a more powerful project management solution. For larger organizations, there's also Project Server, which is designed for managing big portfolios and requires a custom setup. With both subscription options and one-time purchases, Microsoft Project gives you the flexibility to pick what works best for your budget and setup. Now, when it comes to customer support, both platforms have a lot to offer, but they approach it differently. Monday.com makes it super easy easy for users to get help. They have a detailed help center with articles, video tutorials, and webinars to teach you how to use the platform. Plus, there are community forums where you can ask questions and share tips with other users. If you're on one of the higher tiered plans, you also get priority email support and sometimes a live chat, so any issues get solved quickly. On the other hand, Microsoft Project is backed by Microsoft's massive support network. They provide tons of online documentation, training, resources and community forums where you can get advice or troubleshoot. For bigger companies, they offer extra perks like phone support and personalized help through account managers. However, because Microsoft Project can be a bit more complex, some users might need extra training or consulting to fully understand how to use it. In the end, both platforms have strong support, but it comes down to what works for you. If you like a more hands-on, easy-to-follow system, then Monday.com might be the best way to go. But if you need enterprise 
enterprise level support, Microsoft Project could be the better option. So which one should you choose? Well, the answer really comes down to your team's specific needs and the way that you prefer to manage your projects. If you want a tool that's easy to use, looks great, and works for all kinds of industries and workflows, then Monday.com could be a better fit for you. It's perfect for teams that love collaboration, quick updates, and a colorful, clear view of their tasks. But if you're dealing with big, complicated projects that need detailed schedules, resource planning, and deep reporting, Microsoft Project might be the way to go. It's ideal for experienced project managers and larger teams who need full control over every part of their project. In the end, it really depends on your style, budget, and which features matter most to your team's success. So that's it for today's comparison. I hope this video has helped you understand the differences between Monday.com and Microsoft Project and given you a clear picture of which tool might work best for your team. If you found this breakdown helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more SaaS reviews, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or experiences with these tools. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.